guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this colonial candle review It's actually kind of a colonial candle collection wrap-up. This is like part three of their harvest collection and if you're a returning viewer or subscriber welcome back guys if you guys saw um, again, this is part three, so I'm going to be reviewing two candles on this review. I'm going to be reviewing White Pumpkin and Autumn. I believe it's Autumn. Yes, Autumn Spice. I also already have up a review of White Cashmere. Um, I'm sorry, Amber Cashmere. I'm thinking White Pumpkin. Amber Cashmere. And then I also have a review up of Pumpkin Sugar. So um, if this is the first review you're clicking on of mine from Colonial Candle, they just released a new collection called Harvest Collection. Um, it was released the 7th of October. I think I misspoke in one of my other videos that was going to be released the 17th. Um, there's a little miscommunication on my emails, but it is available now. So if any of these look interesting to you, definitely hop on Colonial's website. I've reviewed four of them, but I believe there's eight total in the entire collection and since this is kind of not only a review of the two other candles, kind of a collection wrap up, I will read you guys the other fragrances they have available. So before I dive into this, you guys, um, we are on in full on fall. I keep saying that. We had some really, really cool weather and now it's like mid 70s. So I'm kind of getting a feel for it. I'm loving, loving, loving burning my fall fragrances and I hope you guys are too. And the glare on my glasses is driving me nuts. So um, I'm going to do that and I just won't be able to see very well for the rest of the video but that's okay. So you guys, as I said, I'm reviewing two of Colonial's candles right now. This is the wrap up of the Colonial candle collection. And let me read you the, all of the scents that are available in this collection, just in case this is your first video, um, watching me from the collection for Colonial. So they have their harvest collection. They're 14.5 ounces and they do their three wicks and they retail for $15 each, and they also have wax melts available in all of these scents for $4 for the um, pack of wax melts. So the fragrances for this collection include Amber Cashmere, which I do have a review up of that. They have a um, an Autumn Spice, which is what we're gonna review today. They also have a Bergamot Amber. I did not choose um, Bergamot Amber, but I believe I've seen a couple reviews pop up on there, and I think on Colonial, I know on Instagram, I think they post about it as well. Jasmine Musk, that's another candle I did not um, select, but I know I've seen a couple reviews floating around of that. Pumpkin Sugar, that one was actually probably um, one of the strongest burning ones from this collection and one of my favorites. I do have a review up of Pumpkin Sugar. It's an out of frame review, but I really liked the fragrance and for the launch, that was the one that I wanted to make sure I got out. It's a really yummy pumpkin pie type scent. They also have a whiskey cedar, and I believe I've seen a review of that one floating around, and then white pumpkin, which is what we're going to be reviewing today. So let's dive into it. So first and foremost, the one thing that I love about this collection, I should have grabbed the other two from the collection as well um, that I've already done reviews on. I absolutely love the packaging. I think it's very classic, very, very elegant, and just really pretty. Fits really well for fall. Um, I might be biased because I use a lot of like golds and warm tones in like my decor. Obviously, look at my the pictures hanging back here. But I just think the packaging on this entire collection is very, very beautiful. I think all of the scents are very aligned with fall, a fall harvest. I think they did really great with the collection, the theme of it. And uh, let's dive into the review of White Pumpkin and Autumn Spice, shall we? I will read you guys the notes. So this is White Pumpkin. And as I said in my other reviews, since I have burned Colonial in the past, but I don't burn them as frequently as I do with like Yankee or Bath & Body Works, I really gave them, um, I probably burned them a little bit longer than I typically would with, say, another candle. I've burned both of them almost down to that halfway point, okay? Just to kind of give them a fair shot to see how they performed. Now, on cold, White Pumpkin was um, <clears throat> something that was a really, really pretty scent. I could tell off the bat it was going to possibly be a little bit lighter. But the smell of it, or the scent of it rather, is very, very beautiful. Just like with the Amber Cashmere. Really pretty scent. It's kind of a twist on like a modern pumpkin spice or sweet cinnamon pumpkin or like a pumpkin-y scent. 
it has a little bit of a warmth to it. It's not as um, foody as a pumpkin type scent. It's got a little bit of a warmth to it. Let me read you the notes for white pumpkin. So the notes include a fresh blend of pumpkin, juicy apples, and festive spices, cinnamon, ginger root, layered with vanilla and raw sugar. So that sugar, that ginger, just give it a very warm, warm fragrance. I would say while burning, and I immediately knew just because I had burned the amber cashmere and that was a light thrower, I did have this in my open concept for a little while, and then I just moved it to the half bath and then the bedroom to kind of play around with how I could get the throw. Performing in a half bath or in, say, like a smaller bedroom, if you have a living room that's like separated and not an open concept area, I do think you'll get um, a mid throw from this. It's not a completely, completely light, light fragrance. I'd say it's mid, mid to light, mid to light to be fair, mid to light. Um, one to 10, 10 of course being like crazy room filling strength. White pumpkin was coming in at like a five, maybe, um, yeah, five, I was gonna say five and a half, but more on the side of five. It's one of those fragrances where you can catch wafts of that lingering kind of backdrop. I think just cause of the, the pumpkin fragrance and kind of that warmth with a little bit of vanilla, this would be a really pretty layering scent. Um, say you have a couple other candles going and you want to add an extra vanilla-y pumpkin type scent, this would be for you. Also, if you're someone who's not into the in-your-face, crazy, crazy strong fall candles, I know Bath & Body Works candles, for the most part, throw like super strong. Maybe you don't want something that's, um, you know, in crazy house-filling fragrance. This would be a really nice alternative Simply because the burn on this one, I did not have any issues with the burn on this. I probably could have trimmed the wicks a little bit um, beforehand. I did get a little bit of sooting. Um, nothing too crazy though. But I think this would be a very nice fragrance. It's soft, light, and beautiful. Would I purchase this particular scent again? Probably not. Um, I like the scent, but I just it did not have enough of a throw for me to want to repurchase it. Um, of this collection, I'd say my absolute favorite was the pumpkin sugar, and I do have a review of that. That was the one in the orange um, packaging. That one did give me a pretty decent throw. Um, the next one, and I really liked the packaging on this. I love purple. I think purple is such a beautiful scent. I used to have my room in all purple, and um, that is Autumn Spice. I was really intrigued with this one. Very, very, very pretty candle, and this one... I did also burn, not as long as the white pumpkin, but I did burn it. I would say this was not from the manufacturer. That was my fault. I had it lit and then I extinguished it <clears throat> and I forgot that it was still warm and I moved it and it sloshed. So that is not from the manufacturer. That is 100% my fault. Um, for pumpkin spice, let me read you the notes first. Or pumpkin spice. Um, Oh my gosh, there's so many different ones. Autumn Spice. There's too many fall fragrances, guys. For Autumn Spice, the notes are Nutmeg, Pumpkin Spice, Fur Needle, Golden Myrrh, and Frankincense. It's a really warm toned scent. I love fragrances with like a fur needle. Um, I think Bath & Body Works Autumn and then Yankee's Autumn Leaves have like a fur needle type scent to it. I can detect a little bit of the fur needle in here. It's not as strong as say like an is autumn or um, autumn leaves is but you can definitely get a little bit of a crispness but it's more so a warmth I think the frankincense the myrrh and that pumpkin puree just give it a really unique type of fragrance to me and I don't want to say this because this might throw people off but when I first sniffed this just the blend of everything together I think it's a beautiful blend of spices it almost comes off as like um like an anise, star anise slash licorice type fragrance. And that could just be my nose, but that's that's kind of the vibe I was getting. That type of spice, not a, you know, super cinnamony nutmeg type spice, a smooth, mellow spice. Very, very pretty fragrance. Now for the throw and the performance, again, I had this going in the open concept and I did get a bit of a throw 
in the open concept again it was wafts of a fragrance so it wasn't an in-your-face room filling fragrance i would say in the open concept one to ten ten of course being crazy strong i'd say in the open concept it was coming out like a three or four i did pop it in the half bath slash bathroom two different areas to kind of give it a try and it did fill up the room a little bit it wasn't again it wasn't something to where it was you know spilling out into the you know conjoining rooms or anything like that but when I was in that area, I could smell it. Um, again, not as strong as I would have liked. I'd say in a smaller room, one to 10 performance wise, at least for me, it was coming in at probably, maybe again, like a five, um, possibly five and a half. This was a little bit stronger than White Pumpkin. Of the four candles that I tried from Colonial's Harvest Collection, I would say the strongest throw was the Pumpkin Sugar, followed by Autumn Spice and then followed by white pumpkin and then amber cashmere was just pretty much um non non throwing i don't know if i got a bad batch i have a review up of that as well but the second strongest one was autumn spice probably around a five five and a half on this one would i repurchase this one again if they reformulated any of these with the exception of the pumpkin sugar because that one did have a, a mid throw they reformulated these to where they could get a little bit stronger of a throw I would buy I would repurchase all of them um, as they stand right now I probably wouldn't just because they're a little bit on the lighter side I'm still gonna blend them I think the jars are beautiful I know it's a new collection and I know they're kind of trying to come out with different types of collections and fragrances so they're probably in the process of um, maybe like a trial and error and just seeing what works and what doesn't but at this point the one that I would repurchase that I really really loved from the collection was the pumpkin sugar I am tempted to purchase the wax tarts I also really want to try the wax tarts of the amber cashmere just because that scent is really really pretty as I said in my other video it would be a really good bedroom scent but the candle just did not throw for me. Um, if you guys are interested, check out my other videos of those. So you guys, that is it for me today. Again, I wanna say thank you to Colonial for reaching out to me, uh, for trying out their Harvest Collection. I'm always flattered when anyone even considers my channel to test their products and to try them out, and that was really wonderful of them. Again, this is in no way trying to bash the candles or bash the fragrance or the company. They're awesome scents. They just didn't throw as strong as I would like. And um, I know it's kind of just opinion-wise, not everyone wants a crazy strong Bath & Body Works candle. I get it. But for me, I do like a super strong fragrance. So you guys, that is it for me today. If you guys have tried any of the Colonial candles, any of the ones from this collection or in Collections Past, comment down below what your favorites are. If you guys want to know more about Colonial Candle, I do have reviews up of Colonial from about a year, year and a half ago or so when they used to have their um, oval jars. So I do have other reviews of Colonial Candles up on my channel if you guys are interested. So you guys, that is it for me today. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.